So uh, gut endoparasites is a major problem in sheep um, and at certain times they need to be wormed using an anthelmintic to get rid of those. Uh, we'll just talk through a little bit about the correct technique for doing that. Um, one of the most important things is to know the weight of the sheep that you're going to drench. Um, and this, for this we'll need the weigh scales. Um, if you get a known weight, in this case a sack of uh, feed, which is a 20 kilo sack, you just check your scales are weighing correctly. So this is a 20 kilo sack, this is a 20 kilo registering there, so we know the scales are accurate. So the next thing is to check your drench gun. Um, there's a couple of things involved in that. With your barrel of the drench gun full, you need to check that the plunger seals are still working with your thumb over the end of the drench nozzle and try and give the drench and there should be no movement there at all. If, you get, if you're able to depress the plunger, the seals aren't working, there's drench escaping back the way uh, and you won't be giving the correct dose. The other important thing is to calibrate your drench gun both at the start and uh, halfway through the sheep check it's giving what it says it's giving. So in this instance it's uh, set for 10 mils so it should give um, three or four pumps into the measuring cylinder or you can use uh, a, a, an empty syringe. So there's three pumps and it's given 30 mils so it's given the correct dosage. You have a proportion of your sheep you're about to dose uh, especially some of the bigger ones and weigh them. Un Underdosing and underestimating sheep's weight uh, is, is a common problem. So we'll just pop her in the scales. Goodness me, she barely fits. Well, um, so she, she's 88 kilos. Now you've got your, the, the, the weight of the heaviest animal in the group to set your gun accordingly so you're dosing for um, slightly heavier than the heaviest animal. So the co correct way of drenching a sheep is to put the, the end of the nozzle over the back of the tongue so the sheep can't spit any out, it's getting the full dose. So if you just put the nozzle over the back of the sheep's tongue, holding the uh, jaw, and then administer the drench. There's a, a, a new drench gun, the OptiLine drench gun, out on the market now, um, which uh, makes it easy, even easier to get in the correct spot and uh, also avoids any injury to the, to the ewe. You can't go in too far. But uh, if you put the nozzle over the back of the sheep's throat, back of the sheep's tongue, and if you, you can't go in any further, so it's in exactly the right space in the midst of the drench. This, this is worth, worthwhile having this.